Hi everybody, welcome to another one of my Daisy Beginner's Guide to Modding. Uh, Daisy on PlayStation or Xbox, or it, all this stuff, it applies to PC as well. Um, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you reset your XML files and JSON files on your server. So this is for, the, for that situation where something's gone wrong with your editing, and maybe you've noticed, or maybe the players on your servers have noticed, that things aren't working quite right. They'll probably be saying things like, um, there's no zombies spawning in, or there's no food spawning in, or none of the vehicles have got bits in them. Um, words to that effect. Something will be wrong, and you'll go in and you'll investigate yourself, and you'll be like, oh gosh, yeah, <laughs> I've definitely made a mistake somewhere. And if after restarting the server, um, and uh, maybe going over what you've recently done, maybe going back to your XML validator and your JSON validator to look at the files and say, Ooh, actually, I'm not sure what's gone wrong, but something's gone wrong somewhere. Before you think about um, reinstalling Daisy and wiping everything, you can simply reset the XMLs, and that just takes all the XML files, they're the things that we edit and the JSON files that we edit to change the server. We can turn them back to vanilla. And it's very, very, very easy. And it doesn't wipe players' progress. It just changes the files back to vanilla. So all you need to do is you just go to your settings in general on your server. And you scroll down. And you go to reset mission XML to default. So you tick on that. You save the changes. And you restart the server. After the server has restarted, you untick it and you save it. And then all the edits you've done to, like your types.xml and all that sort of stuff, they will all revert to vanilla files. Now, obviously, if you've done some edits like um, extra weapons or colored weapons or magazines spawn in full of bullets or everything spawns in pristine, if you've done those sorts of edits, you're going to start getting stuff that isn't spawning in like that but at least your server will be playable. And it doesn't get rid of anything. So say you had an edit, you'd edit, edited your type so that um, something like, I don't know, black M4A1 spawned in. If someone's got a black A4M1 on their, in their backpack or they've got it in their base, that's not going to disappear because the files have gone back to vanilla. It just means no more of them will, will spawn in again. So reset mission XML to default is a something i use a lot on my servers if i'm like oh god what have i done maybe you haven't got enough time to go in and change it you know to go and find what's gone wrong simply by doing that you can make sure that your server is playable for people and zombies are going to spawn in the animals are going to spawn in basic loot is going to be spawning in um, and you're going to be um, they're going to be able to play and so it's a very very powerful tool and again it doesn't reset player progress it just makes sure that the loot economy will start working again and basic loot basic vanilla loot will start to spawn in now the other thing you can do as well is if you know that there's a particular file that has become uh, you, you've something's gone wrong with it but you're not quite sure what you can always go to the um, Bohemia Interactive's uh, GitHub where they have all of the vanilla files. So these are the original files. Um, and they update this with every update of DayZ. And all you need to do is click on um, download the zip and that will give you everything. It gives you all the files for Chernera, Slavonia, all the XMLs, all the JSON files. Too many files, in fact. You just want the files that are inside the mission files. So you can then, so if, say, for example, you've been messing around with the events, that XML file, by downloading this, and extracting it you'll find the uh, vanilla um, file for the events and then you can just simply go into your file browser go into missions folder daisy plus go into db and then you would click on upload open up the window where you've you've saved the events file from the vanilla set upload that restart the server and that would be the vanilla events Okay, hopefully the video is useful. If it has been, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And remember, there are no silly questions. If you're thinking about a question about editing DayZ, whether it be PC, PlayStation, or Xbox, please ask. Please put it in the uh, comment section down below because I use those questions to drive the content on this channel. Um, and if I don't know the answer, I will find out the answer and it will give me a chance to make a video that will undoubtedly be useful to lots of other players as well. There we go. Thank you very much. And I'll speak to you again soon.